What's up, Lucci Gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly Jean. And what it do, what it do, what it do. Today is Saturday. It's the weekend. It's our first weekend at our new um, home, our new neighborhood. Neighborhood, that's the word I was looking for. And guys, y'all have to excuse me because I am sick. I'm feeling under the weather, but you know, duty calls. We have to go to the grocery store. Lucky wanted to come by himself, but I was like, no, because I don't want to have to go back during the week. So we want to get it all done today. And you know, sometimes he forgets some of the stuff that I know we need. So we're heading to the grocery store and we've been having to hit up Kroger. Type in the comments down below. Let me know if y'all have a Kroger near you. Is that like a Texas this, thing? This is the signature Kroger though. This ain't the regular Kroger. No, this ain't the signature Kroger. This is a Marketplace Kroger. Oh, Marketplace Kroger, yeah. Y'all, this Kroger is like, is crazy. There's, it's like a Walmart, low key. Like they have tools, stuff for the house. They have like um, clothes, clothes shoes. shoes. They have everything, food. They have restaurants inside of it. They have Starbucks. They, I mean, I think every every Kroger has Starbucks inside. But anyways, we're just trying to hype up our Kroger. No, nah, but <laughs> legit, we're not just trying to hype up our Kroger. It's legit, like, grand and huge. And I had never I ain't gonna seen... lie. I, I was tired of going to H-E-B every day or, or every week. We always go to H-E-B. And if you're from Texas, you know H-E-B. If you're from out of town, H -E Texas, H-E-B is a thing. Well, at least in Houston it is. I know in Dallas they don't really have too many HEBs, but in Houston, it's a lot of HEBs. Yeah, there is an HEB like five minutes away from us, but it's so big, it's so packed. It's uh, I tried to pull up to it yesterday um, on my way back from picking up the kids from school. Um, but yeah, it was way too packed. I couldn't even find parking spot. But I love our new neighborhood, the new environment that we're in. Lucky keeps saying that he feels like he's out of town, and it does. It's true. It feels like we're in Colorado somewhere. It does. It feels like we're out of town. It is. There's a lot we of. We really are out of town. There's a lot of natural, like trees. Trees, just nature. There's just trees. There's trails in our neighborhood. There's, there's just the beautiful outdoors. You can just feel the vibe. Um, and I just love how this whole neighborhood is new. So there's a lot of new shopping centers and stores and stuff like and that. And they got the Christmas decorations on the shopping center. We're all like wowed by the Christmas decorations. I feel like that's in every shopping center now. <laughs> it's Christmas time, guys. Anyways, <clears throat> about to hit up this Kroger. I'm sick, guys. I feel like crap, but I gotta get up and I gotta get out of my bed because I feel like we got a, we're living a whole new life in this new environment that we're in. Like we moved out of the city that we we're living in. So we really are out of town. And that just feels like we're living a new life in this new town. New year, new life. I'm loving the privacy. I'm loving the, the, the way that it's not too overcrowded. Like it, I'm loving how ducked off we are. I'm loving the distance. I don't know. I just, I'm loving the new beginning, the fresh start. Yeah, I had been, I felt like I needed that, a new environment. All right. Grocery store, doing it up. Every time we get in front of these little meat sections, Lucky goes all in. Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I got some steak, got some hammer meat, some chicken, and some poke chops. Poke, poke chops. Sheesh. Getting her done, getting her done. Getting her done. Oh, he's strong. This is my strong arm. <laughs> Look at everybody Christmas shopping out here. Did y'all start Christmas shopping? You know, we wait till like the last 
minute. We're gonna knock it out. Now we'll probably we'll probably go this week when the kids are in school. Right, Kelly? Yeah. So yesterday the situation that I was having to deal with was having to go from school to school to school to school to enroll the kids. So this district doesn't have fifth grade in elementary. They have them in an intermediate school. So that means that CC is in a whole different school than Leah is. So literally all of our kids go to different schools. It's, one's in elementary, one's in intermediate, one's in junior high, and, and the one's other in one's high in high school. Um, so it was like an all day thing. I was super tired, but thank God we got it done. So next week they should be going to school. <clears throat> and then that would let us get back into our routine, or at least find some rhythm in our routine, right? I think it's been a little hectic. But they're all blessings. I feel very blessed. I think the biggest thing for us is just like, dang, it's not a dream. It's not like, <laughs> it's real. We, we did it, babe. <laughs> Y'all know how much we've been wanting this. I read one of the comments um, in our house reveal video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, but. I had said in that video that the spiral staircase is something that we specifically had prayed for. I had specifically prayed for. And I didn't pray. I wouldn't be like, hey, God, I want a spiral staircase in my house. I didn't pray Well, that's that. not how you say it, but you, you're intentional with your prayers, you know, and I'm like, Lord, you know, let a house open up that fits our family, that has all these rooms and... You know, I want my house to have a spiral staircase that, you know, I just kind of wanted a country feeling and it all came to pass. Like, God talks about that in the Bible, that he will give you the desires of your heart. Um, so I don't, I'm not ashamed of, you know, praying specific prayers, but back to this. No, but I did pray for the house that we saw. It did have that staircase and it looked like the same house. And I prayed to God, if we don't get that house, at least bless us with the equivalent to that house. And that's what happened. Yeah. Well, back to the comment. Um, somebody had put specific prayers work. And my point in bringing this conversation up is because, yeah, specific prayers work, man. Healing, the power. There's power in the name of Jesus. And healing and, and, and home buying when things don't even look, you know, like like it could happen. You know, it's it's just the name of Jesus right the belief your faith the obedience it all works out and it's all God's timing so don't get discouraged um, and keep going I got a word for y'all a word came to me in the shower I was taking a shower this morning and I and they pop, I don't know I be having little conversations in my head and then when I, I was done with the conversation in my head, I was like, dang, I need to say that next time I'm on a podcast or something. And then I was like, man, I got my own platform. I say that next time I'm on YouTube. And I forgot what I was talking about in my head with myself. But it's basically what I was saying was as the body of Christ, we got to do better at congratulating people that are newly coming to Christ for making a change for the better instead of pointing out what they're doing wrong. Because I know like when I first came to Christ and got saved, there was a whole bunch of Christians that came to me and told me everything that now I can't do. Or when they saw me doing something that I shouldn't have been doing, they were like quick to correct me. Instead of like congratulating me or telling me, you know. Now there was Christians that did do that. And I'm not saying everybody, but there was a handful that were mostly like in the comments and stuff. Comment section saying, uh... You, know, you can't eat shellfish no more. You can't eat shrimp. Or did you get baptized and start speaking in tongue? If not, you're not a Christian. Or you're not, you know what I'm saying? And just a whole bunch of stuff that came at me instead of just... And if I wasn't, like, strong in my faith, that could have pushed me away and made me run away. But I knew where I came from, and I knew I didn't want to go back to that. So I just kept it moving. But I think as a body, we need to get better at just embracing new believers and people that are trying to posture their heart towards God let's just embrace them instead of trying to quick to make a rule book for them and tell them everything they ain't supposed to be doing you know what I'm saying because that could push people away or make people want to be private about their faith because they don't want to be judged 
And I feel like it's only because of social media that people feel like they have the opinion to go point out people's flaws and what they're not supposed to be doing. Because if you was just at church and you saw somebody new at church, you wouldn't walk up to them and say, oh, now you know you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this. But because you're on, you know, on someone's comment section, you feel like you have the access to their life and uh, the right to tell them what they want to do. Y'all be feeling bold. <laughs> That's the reality of it. Um, Y'all get it what I'm trying to say, man. But hey, man, I'm about to go in there and make some poke chops. Accountability is important, though. So if you are a new believer, it's important for you to find somebody that you trust that can hold you accountable in your walk because the last thing you want is to be comfortable in your walk. But anyways, let me go get Kingston because these groceries, baby, they ain't gonna get themselves. Aw, walking out to the doorstep. First oh. of all, I love my sisters. And so Jessica had got us this doormat and then Michelle knows I'm sick, so she ordered me some DoorDash, some kind of the boil. Man, I'm finna eat that. Go get the groceries, King. All right, go get the groceries. Y'all are having a movie night? Yeah! Say hey guys! Yeah. Say hey guys, we'll see him! We'll see him! Huh? I'm never gonna be any one stick, she's mine. What so, happened? It's like a jump and I'm about to eat that soup. No, it's mine. Anyways, guys, tear it up the sofa. Bomb.com. Pray and I get better. What? All right, guys. So we made it back home, and the struggle is real. Having to put up the groceries, eat food, all the good stuff, and. Yeah, clean after everybody because <laughs> they decided that they wanted to eat also. Oh my god, it was just too much going on. The boys finally knocked out. Uh, I'm chilling. I'm in my PJs already. I'm about to watch some Netflix and chill. Lucky's in his drawers. <laughs> I don't want to show him. What? But <laughs> walking around in my designer drawers, baby. I'm about to. Go get on some Zoom calls to take care of some business because it's Saturday, but we still working, man. Hit me up, 214-609-4711. Text us if you want to get on a Zoom call, learn more about how to get your family protected with life insurance, or if you want to learn how to set up an investment account, investing in your Roth IRA so you can have some money for retirement. If you want to set up a custodial account for your children so you can have some college money put away when they grow up. Hit us up, 214-609-4711. We can help you and guide you and point you in the right direction. You watch Luciano TV.